Hey guys, this is Tyler Disney. I'm a BIM guy over at Integral Group Oakland. And in this video, I'm going to show how to use our Smart Sheet Note system. Now, Revit has some sort of Smart Keynote legend thingy. Uh, I looked at it once, didn't really like it, forget why, doesn't matter. This is what we use now, so if this piques your interest, feel free to use it. If you want to know how to build this system, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on that too. But this is just how to use the system that we've got. So okay, here we are, we've got a floor plan set up and we've got our sheet note area over here. You'll notice we've got mouse over it, a schedule. It's hidden because there's nothing populating the schedule yet, uh, but there it is. So the methodology is you come in, you activate this view by double clicking on it, uh, you find in your project browser, the family for our smart sheet note bubble, Go ahead and drag that guy in, place them, and now you click on this guy and you can just click again and that'll let you insert what number you want it to be. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now with this guy selected, you'll notice that there's three parameters here that I can set. There's note text, sheet bubble number, which is what I just typed in and there's sheet number. Sheet number is what tells this schedule uh, that this uh, sheet note bubble should go onto it. It's the open sesame basically. So I'm going to type in in 2.01 and you'll notice that it popped up. I'm going to fill out the note text to be this is a duct. And that's going to pop up. So now if I do the same thing over here, note text, uh, room, Again, nothing happens yet because I haven't yet put in the sheet number. Now I did, good to go. Uh, no text, this is a riser sheet number in 2.1. Boom, it's all filled out. Uh, and we're happy. It's formatted nicely. Ooh, let me uh, let me demonstrate the formatting. This is an empty room. More text. deactivate the view um, and you'll notice that I can modify the width of that um, however I want um, and it all just works. Uh, if you're into Revit already you probably know that the reason we did this whole crazy smart sheet note thing is primarily because text box formatting in Revit is terrible um, and this is a way to get our sheet notes to format nicely. Um, and now, just also proving that even if you have if you have multiple sheet notes of the same number, so I've got two twos in here, this is set not to itemize every instance. So I'm just going to have one row uh, for that. Now here's the thing: if I change this text to be something else, like something different. Now this row is going to be blank because that's an indication that I've told this number two to say one thing and this number two to say another thing. And Revit goes, uh, what? Blank. Uh, so you just got to make sure uh, that they are consistent. And you can just multi-select and say, this is what I really want to say. And now they're both happy. Uh, okay, so the other thing here, the danger that you got to watch out for is copying and pasting this stuff around. So let's say uh, I copied some of these guys um, and then I'm going to jump to uh, another sheet, different view on a different sheet, M301, that's hydronic plan for us. Going to activate this view. Uh, apparently I'm not going to paste this. Come on. Copy. There we go. Okay, so cool. I've got my sheet note here, too. I'm all happy. Yep, this says this. Uh, two, I want this to say um, this is the pipe. Super happy. Uh, but it's not showing up here. And I'm like, well, why isn't it showing up here? That's super messed up. Well, the reason is because the sheet number is M201. It's the sheet M301. Well, let's look back at M201 you'll notice two is blank again. That's because over here, you know, this schedule isn't reading 
uh, sheet note bubbles from just this view. It's reading sheet note bubbles anywhere. And that's why we need this parameter that says sheet number M201. It tells the sheet note schedule which of these guys to look up. So that's fine. All I do is change this guy to M301. And then my M201 schedule fixes itself because now it's just reading you know, these two guys. And now over here, this one is, is reading it uh, correctly. Um, and so uh, you can imagine like, okay, that's pretty simple when you've only got two or three sheet notes, but what, what happens when you know, you've got just a ton of sheet notes all over the place and it's you know, starting to get pretty gnarly. Let's get these ones and then it, um, copy paste. Now these guys are gonna make threes. We've got a bunch on this page, right? And like, what if, what if half of them were copied from in something else, right? So they're not showing up, but the numbers are what I want them to be. Well, it's actually pretty simple to sort of QC this to make sure that all your sheet notes are happy. Right click one of these guys, say, select all instances visible in view, not an entire project and say, look, this is in 3.01, guys, get with the program. And now your sheet note schedule is all happy. So that's it, that's how to use them. Um, pretty simple, again, if you wanna know how to build these guys, how to build the schedule and how to build the sheet note bubbles themselves, let me know in the comments and I'll do that. Cheers.